Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Jared from One Earth Mushrooms. Temperature control is pretty vital when it comes to successfully cultivating mushrooms. So today we're going to talk about the basics of temperature control and how different varieties of mushrooms behave with different temperatures. Uh, we're also going to talk about where we should store our green spawn that we created in the last video and specifically the temperature requirements for successfully getting that spawn to colonize. Alright, let's jump right into the video. Fungi grows in some pretty extreme conditions. So in the dry valleys of Antarctica, there's fungi that survive temperatures of less than 45 degrees Celsius, and they'll actually wake up and start growing at about zero degrees, which is the freezing point of water. So as soon as water can move just a little bit, fungi can grow. And on the hotter end of the spectrum, fungi are growing in temperatures of up to 60 degrees Celsius in compost piles. And this is actually what's helping our compost break down when we are composting at home. To get a better idea of what we're dealing with, let's take a look at the temperature groups that our mycology professional friends have placed fungi in. And this should help us understand a little bit more about the fungi that we're growing at home. Before we get too deep into that, let's define some terminology and look at a concept called mycelium colony advance rate, which is basically how fast a colony of mycelium is growing. The minimum and maximum temperatures are exactly what they seem. Below the minimum temperature, mycelium and therefore fungi will not grow, and above the max, same thing. But between the min and the max, mycelium and fungi can grow. However, there is the ideal growth temperature, which is right there in the middle. Okay, now that we understand some of the terms, let's take a look at the different groups of temperature tolerance zones that fungi have been grouped into. Psychrotolerant fungi will grow between negative 5 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. A psychrophilic fungi will not grow below 0 degrees and will not grow above 20 degrees. Then as temperature starts coming up, a thermotolerant fungi can grow between 4 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius, no more than 60. A thermophilic fungi will not grow below 20 degrees and will not grow above 60 degrees. And our favorite, the mesophilic, are between 4 and 40 degrees. A mesophilic grows best at about 25 degrees Celsius, thermophilics around 45, thermotolerance at 38, psychrophilics at 15, and a psychrotolerant at about 20 degrees Celsius. For our purposes, we're going to be discussing mesophiles, which fall under the kingdom fungi, the phylum Bastidiomycota, which means that they produce spores for reproduction, and the class Bastidiomycetes, which means they produce fruiting bodies. So we're talking about fruiting bodied mushrooms that produce spores. These fungi typically have a optimum growth temperature for mycelium of about 22 to 24 degrees Celsius, and that is about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And these fungi produce fruiting bodies optimally between 15 and 22 degrees Celsius, which is about 60 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at some of the fungi that we can cultivate at home and their ideal growth temperatures. Here are nine commonly cultivated mushroom varieties and their fruiting and colonizing temperatures. Keep in mind these are the optimum temperatures and they will grow outside these. Beach mushrooms colonizing at 23 degrees Celsius and fruiting 18 to 20. Cordyceps militaris colonizing at 20, fruiting at 25. Enoki is colonizing at 23, fruiting at 13 to 16. Lion's mane colonizing at 25, fruiting 16 to 21. Maitakis 23 and 12 to 18. For oysters, keep in mind that there's a bunch of different strains out there and some of those differ, but generally colonizing at 22 to 24 degrees and fruiting 18 to 22. Portobello is 20 to 25 and fruiting 22 to 27. Reishi is colonizing at 23, fruiting at 10 to 25, and shiitake is 23 and fruiting 16 to 20. Okay, so that was a lot of science. What can we actually take away from this? So I think first, uh, we should understand that mushrooms can grow in a wide variety of temperatures and in some pretty extreme climates. But that doesn't mean that we should try to cultivate our mushrooms in those extremes. Each mushroom has its ideal growth temperature range, and we should try as much as we can to stick inside that. Our chances for success are going to be much better if we are in the ideal growth temperature range. Second, there are great resources out there for figuring out what the ideal growth temperature is. And my favorite one I will link below is a resource that has a lot of information, a lot more than just ideal growth temperature. But for today's purposes, we're just talking about temperature. So take a look at the link below. It's not someone I'm associated with. It's just a resource that I like to use. The final thing I want to take away from this is that it can be difficult to control temperature of our homes, our garages, our shops, our gardens, 
wherever it is that we're trying to cultivate mushrooms. Luckily though, most temperatures that we have at home will support most mushrooms. So we typically live in an environment that is about 21 to 25 or 24 degrees Celsius, which is somewhere in the 70 to 75 degree Fahrenheit range. Most of us are pretty comfortable in that and our mushrooms are too. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope that video was helpful for you. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. A lot of the material that we're covering here is going to be pertinent to all kinds of mushroom cultivation. And even if you're not cultivating mushrooms, it's just some good info to know. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. For our purposes, we're going to be discussing mesophiles. And these are the... Nice. Uh, what? And the kingdom of fungi. Thank you very much. For our purposes, we're going to be discussing a yes. The Cidio mites and <coughs> ah! the phylum of Visidio mycota and oh, no. the phylum mice. Surprise!